Here's what we've got to do. We're going to graph f of x equals 2 thirds x minus 5. This is a linear function. You can tell because it says 2 thirds is the slope. Uh, this is the rise of the run. The m is, or the, well, that's the m. The x is, you know, because it's a linear function, it's x to the first power. And the b, the part where it crosses the y-axis is at negative 5. Graphing that's pretty simple. You just go down 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And um, that's one of the points that I know guaranteed is on this graph. If I want to get another point, I simply use the slope and I would go up to 1, 2, and across 3. 1, 2, 3. This, the coordinates of this point would be probably 1, 2, 3. 3, comma, negative 3. This is uh, 0, comma, 5, or negative 5, sorry. Do you concur? Yeah, all right, good. <laughs> We're asked to graph these two points, and then from that, find the slope. Um, let's see, graphing these two points, or graph a line that crosses through these two points. There's one, negative one, negative two, negative three, comma two, so that was up two. There's one point, that's this one up here. There's four comma zero, which is one, two, three, four comma zero, so that's this point right here. If I were to connect those points, it's simply that. Now, if I wanted to find the slope of this line, it's pretty straightforward. Um, you think to yourself, well, if I'm starting over here at uh, two, and I'm ending here at zero, that's the height of this point and height of this point. The difference between that and this would be uh, you would have to go down two, so negative two. My rise would be negative two. My run, on the other hand, would be the x-coordinate over here is negative three, the x-coordinate over here is four, so that would be across seven. So my slope would be negative two sevenths. Do you concur? Yeah. Good.